2024 is here and over the past few years I've managed to gather a lot of cubes. So today we are going to rank them from F to S tier. Okay, it's the 7x7. Seven seven. Um, honestly, the cube is not that great. I mean, I like the 7x7 seven seven, the event, but here we are not ranking events, just rank the cubes. And the turnix, it's, it's bad. I'll give it a D tier. Next up we got... Twisty Scoob. Alright, this is a Twisty Scoob. Is it Twisty or Twisted? I wrote Twisted, but it may be Twisty. Anyway, so I don't actually know how to solve it. I don't like the turning. I don't like the concept of the puzzle. That's an easy F tier. I just hate it. The... Oh, it says Pyraminxes, which I wrote that because I have two of them. These Pyraminxes are just terrible. Look, the Pyramix is not that bad like the Twisty Scoop, but it still gets a meteor. 2x2 two two Master Morphix. Why am I choosing the weirdest cubes that I have? I don't like it as well. It's like the Twisty Scoop. I don't know how to solve it. It's pretty easy from what I know, but I mean, it's not even a WC event. What, what is that? What is that? Oh my God. This gets an F tier. I don't care. Moving on to the next event, ooh, the Tornado V3. When it comes to the Tornado, I have to say that it has a special spot in my heart. It's it's just perfect. The 5x5. Five five. It's not great as you can see, it lockups all the time. But for a beginner, like when I bought it, um, it's actually pretty okay. It's, it's not magnetic of course, but still I'm going to give it like a C tier. It, it's better than a 7x7, seven seven, okay? The dice cube. This cube has a very interesting story. So to make things short, this cube was very good until I switched the core with another core and right now it ended up being kind of trash. I still love this cube as, as a puzzle, but because we are ranking cubes, I'm going to give it like a neat year. The... What's this? Oh, the 1974 cube, which is so old that it is probably from the 1974, from the 80s, for sure. It was my mother's cube. It just sucks, okay? The next year, the 2x2. Two two. Uh, this cube, it's not that bad, actually. It cost it 2 euros. It turns amazingly for that price. The corner cutting, yeah, it's not great. But for this price, this cube is awesome. A bit tier. The RSTM 2020. If you know me, you know that I'm a big fan of the RSTM 2020. It's actually the best budget cube in the entire history. Right now it's not even looped and it's, it still turns amazingly. The corner cutting is awesome. It can corner cut from any angle. For the price of the $10, this is an easiest tier. The Ivy Cube. Both the event and the cube are mid. There is nothing special about it. In reality, it's just an event for being in the collection. I do not touch this cube at all. I'm going to rank it like D tier. It's not bad. I'm giving it a C tier. The MGC 3x3. I actually have the MGC series from 2x2 all the way to the 5x5. So this one, the 3x3 is considered to be a fail. I mean, I get why, because it only has stickers. The cube itself, it has magnets. That's a good sign, but it's not that great. A D tier. It's, it's actually pretty expensive for it, what it has to offer. The giant one by one. I forgot to mention that I have this cube. It's actually pretty giant. Unfortunately, I did a mistake and the stickers were glued with this kind of glue that when it dries up, it turns like that. After I realized that the rest of the pieces were glued with double-sided tape, but still this is by far my favorite cube in my collection. And I'm so stupid because I didn't take a picture to upload it to the tire list. But you know, it's, it's an S tier. I'll make it work in the montage. Look, here's a quick picture. Gun Mosaic! I have unboxed this on the channel if you want to see the full unboxing. Oh, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I should retire. Ah! The next day. Basically, the concept is that you have 36 tiny cubes and you can make mosaic out of it. There's the 100 cubes version as well, but I went for the more compact. 
size it, it is way cheaper okay as i was saying there are 36 of these tiny cubes which honestly don't turn that well for the purpose that they are made they are actually okay i'm going to rate the entire mosaic a tier the yuxin 3x3 it's not that magnetic version it costs like three euros plastic quality is terrible the sound is terrible as well but for beginners it's great let's stick with d tier the 9x9 you probably know that I'm in love with this puzzle. Right now, it definitely needs loop. It, it's very dry. But generally, the checkerboard pattern and all the patterns look amazing. I'm going to give it an eight tier. I really like it. The gun 356R, which is this one. And honestly, it's terrible. It's not even magnetic. I mean, what was gun even thinking about it? On the other hand, it is one of the first releases it may even be the first release, I'm not sure, but if it is their first release, then they are excused. It lacks speed, magnets, that's an F tier for sure. Megamix. Oh boy, I hate this event. Starting from the cube itself, it's not great, it's not even magnetic. E tier. Ooh, MGC 5x5. Oh yeah, I'm in love with this cube. It's just perfect and of course you know what that means it's an easy s tier gun 11 m pro it's very expensive but it's it's incredible this cube is so valuable for me that i think it has to be an s tier maybe a tier but no s tier next one is the 6x6 you know how much i hate this cube i have live streamed fixing this one because it has popped so many times in the past like two times and the one was <sighs> was a nightmare to fix it's, it's an s tier i mean what am i saying it's an f tier i i meant it's an f tier 4x4 obviously i'm referring to this trash 4x4 so much pain but on the bright side i got it for only one euro i would give it an f tier and i will give it an f tier actually Bruh. Penrose Cube. I'm not sure about this one. I kind of like it, the concept, the puzzle itself, it's okay. It turns decently fast. A C tier. MGC 2x2. I really like this one, specifically for the price. I think an A tier Windmill Cube. It's, it's not one of my favorites, I don't really like it, but I do like when it is check aborted. So just for that, D tier. Rubik's brand. I hate Rubik's brands, but this one specifically has a missing oh. corner. I don't know. I somehow lost it. It should be somewhere in the studio, but I cannot find it anywhere. It's an E-tier. And as I'm saying that, I also forgot to add the Rubik's brand. The MGC 4x4. This one is not at the same level as the 5x5. It's, it's great, don't get me wrong. It's a level lower than the 5x5, so it's an 8 tier. RS Pyramix. I'm not sure about this one. The turning is pretty okay. The magnets are pretty weak, actually. It's not that controllable, but overall it's pretty smooth, pretty cheap. Because the B tier is kind of empty, I'm going to put it here. Black Cube. First of all, I'm not racist. It has a missing corner as well. A friend of mine broke it a few years ago, but it doesn't matter. It was a cheap cube. I don't know why I even have it. E tier, just to fill the blanks. Awful 3x3. Three three. I'm referring to this cube. It's awful. All right. It's awful. Right now, it, it is smooth for some reason. Oh yeah, I remember. It's this one that I added Oh, vegetable oil. I wasn't expecting that. It's an E-tier. Mini 3x3. It's a bit bigger than the ones on the gun mosaic. Turning is awful. I like it though. A C-tier. And lastly, we have the 1x1. One one. It turns pretty well. It's fast. It has not magnets, but it doesn't need them. Oh, I dropped it. Um, B-tier. Is that a 7x7? Seven seven? Oh, I forgot to put it in the tire list. Uh, where did I rank it? Thank you.